Back in 1960, the USS George Washington was equipped to deliver a nuclear holocaust. But the enemy could still detect her presence. For their next conjuring trick, engineers must not only build bigger, but somehow make their submarine invisible. In the depths of the ocean, light doesn't penetrate the water more than a few hundred meters. Sound waves, however, can travel through the water for many hundreds of kilometers. Those hunting the USS Pennsylvania are listening out for any noise she makes that might give away her position. Guns on section bearing 379 doesn't eight. To be stealthy, the Pennsylvania must be silent. One of our primary missions is to remain at sea undetected, and so our job day to day, hour to hour, is to remain quiet so that no one knows where we are except us. Everything on the submarine, the decks, equipment, Running machines and even the hand dryers are insulated with rubber shock absorbers to minimize noise caused by vibrations. The other large source of noise that could radiate out into the ocean is our propeller. That broadband noise can travel extreme distances in the ocean. Before designers can build a quiet propeller, they have to understand why it makes so much noise. If a propeller spins quickly, it leaves a trail of bubbles behind it. As the bubbles pop, they make a lot of noise. These bubbles are not filled with air, but with steam. The steam is produced by the seawater boiling. It is a well-known fact that water boils at 100 degrees centigrade. However, few people will know that at different pressures, the water will boil at different temperatures. If you increase the pressure, as in a pressure cooker, for instance, then the boiling point of the water increases. Hence, the cooking is more efficient. Few people will know, however, that at reduced pressures, water will boil at lower temperatures. I have here a vacuum pump, and I'm going to turn on the vacuum. This flask here contains water, and we have it connected to a pressure gauge, and we're reading at the moment approximately 15 pounds per square inch, which is one atmosphere. I turn on the pump, you notice the pressure dropping immediately, and as the pressure drops, as we approach zero, bubbles start to form, and the water starts to boil. So here we are at room temperature, but at a significantly reduced pressure, almost, almost a complete vacuum, the water is now boiling. Water boiling at 20 degrees centigrade at almost zero pounds per square inch, a remarkable phenomenon, sir. When a submarine's propeller turns quickly, an area of low pressure is created on the blades. This lowering of pressure causes the water to boil without heating up and produces bubbles of steam. This is called cavitation. The formation of those bubbles is dependent on how fast we rotate our propeller. So the faster we go, the more risk we are for cavitation. The Pennsylvania's propeller design is a closely guarded secret but the basic principles of a quiet running propeller are known. Cavitation only occurs when a propeller spins quickly. Slowing the propeller down reduces cavitation and therefore noise. But slowing the propeller also reduces a submarine's thrust. To overcome this problem, the Pennsylvania's engineers developed a unique propeller with four additional specially shaped blades. These generate large amounts of thrust, but at much lower speeds. This way, the Pennsylvania produces almost no cavitation or propeller noise. She is a silent predator of the deep.